All right, fam, I got my notes. I just invested $20,000 into SoFi. We got a lot to talk about in this video, so strap in, let's get started. Hey guys, Corey here, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you don't miss great content like this. And if you could give me a thumbs up, it would greatly be appreciated as it helps the channel grow. Before we pop off on today's video with SoFi, I wanna talk to you guys about something. Look, it hasn't always been like this for me where I could just jump into a stock $20,000, $30,000 to invest. I was flat broke in 2017 after a divorce and a pandemic killed my business. And for almost five years, I was struggling. It was like four and a half years of pure struggle. It's a very hard road and it was a struggle, but I told myself once I achieved it, I would help others achieve it as well, which is why I launched my masterclass boot camp as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, full training course, and Discord. So if you guys are looking to become profitable and you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one coach, I would love to help you achieve the financial freedom that you deserve. So if you guys are interested, investwithcory.com. Link is in the information box below. If you guys also want to sign up for my free newsletter, tips and strategies delivered right to your email box every single week. So you might be asking yourself, Corey, why would you invest $20,000 into SoFi? Well, now is the time to do so. Let's hammer out some of the facts on SoFi right now. Anthony Noto has continued to buy shares over and over again. And since the SPAC back in 2021, hasn't sold a single share. Typically, insiders, especially CEOs, do not buy shares in a company unless they expect the stock to go up or they pretty much know it's going to go up. And Anthony Noto is a very good CEO, very conservative, very intelligent intelligent and knows how to run a company. Not only with the SPAC, we also have the Technicis and the Galileo purchase, which gives them full control of backend infrastructure, which they also provide to other fintechs. And they're also a bank as they picked up a charter. Anthony owns over 8.1 million shares currently. Their financial services business is growing rapidly and it's a lot easier to scale financial services than it is a lending business. Although lending could get better in the future as interest rates get cut and inflation comes down. Revenue increased 26% year over year. Their EBITDA rose 9%. The deposits also grew 16% year over year, which was 21.6 billion total. 460 million in quarter one 23 to 580 million in quarter one 2024. I've said this before, Anthony Noto is very conservative, yet he's very intelligent. And this seems like a sandbagging effect. The short interest is also 22%, which is holding the stock down. But not only that, combined with Anthony Noto sandbagging, under promising and over delivering has held the stock down where it's at right now. And I think that's sort of intentional so that Anthony Noto could acquire shares. Because if you really think about it, if he sandbags, under promises, over delivers, the stock grows slower, which allows him to keep buying and accumulating shares. At this point, he has over 8.1 million shares. I believe SoFi is going to hit $8 by the end of the year quite easily. So I'm going to read an article that I was looking at. SoFi has enjoyed robust customer loyalty as existing users embrace more services driving its growth strategy through competitive rates and user-friendly interfaces. Over the past year, SoFi has been growing and flourishing rapidly. From digital growth perspective, SoFi has been performing well. The company has expanded its user base from 1 million in the 2020s to its current state of 8 million users. Although the company saw a 73% decline from its peak price, SoFi remains a compelling stock to own and holds a 4.6 interest rate and expansive financial services. Moreover, the company has distinguished itself with unique offerings like career counseling and member events, challenging traditional banks like Bank of America and JP Morgan. Its lending segment, focusing on personal loans, mortgages, and student loans, has generated $330 million in net revenue last quarter, driving SoFi's profitability. SoFi achieved a turnaround by reducing costs and enhancing services, showing strong financial performance with $88 million in net income, partly boosted by a one-time debt retirement. SoFi's long-term potential lies in its expanding fintech tech market share and products, but risks include competition, regulations, and technological shifts continue to hamper this stock on the valuation front. I believe it's more sandbagging on Noto's part, being more conservative, and not only that, the inflation and the short interest. CEO Anthony Noto recently demonstrated some strong confidence in his own company, purchasing 30,715 shares at $6.48 each, totaling $199,110. This boosted his personal stake to $8.12 million 
shares. His total insider buys for 2024 amounted to $797,342. Noto accounts for 92% of the insider buys without selling any shares. Although it has some short-term hurdles, SoFi's positives still outweigh its negatives. With a low valuation and a 2.8 times price to sales ratio, the stock seems undervalued. In my opinion, it is. It's worth more or less $9 to $10. Okay, guys, you can see here my position in SoFi. I truly believe in this company. I put $20,000 into SoFi today. This is the big move right now. SoFi is going to move this year, and that is the reason why I put so much money into SoFi. So I could go over here into the call options just for next week alone, and I could sell $7 call options even at $2. I could sell 31 contracts and make $60. If I was to go out to maybe July 26, which is a really good idea, I could sell $7 calls and I'll most likely get assigned if earnings is good. And I could probably get filled at 10 cents, at 31 contracts, 3,100 shares. I make $300. Plus I also make 50 cents at 3,100 shares if I was to get assigned. So 31, 3,100 times 50 cents. So I'll make $2,000 in three weeks, which is really good. But ultimately, like I said, I believe in SoFi and that is the reason why I put $20,000 into the stock. But if you guys are looking to get into SoFi, what I highly recommend doing is either buying the shares right now, just outright. So it's a good price at 645, 650, even 675 is good. If you can get in lower at 625 or 630, that's even better. And you can do that by selling puts two weeks out. Click on sell put. We'll go up to July 19th and we'll sell 650 puts for $22, 22 cents per share, which pretty much gives us a break even price of 628, which is perfect. So if you get assigned, as long as the price is over 628, you're good. You'll get assigned if the stock price goes below 650 or stays below 650 because it's below that price right now. But it doesn't matter because you're collecting $22. You take that off of 650 and it leaves you with $6.28 per share. So if you get assigned and the stock is 640, you're still up $12 on the 100 shares or 12 cents per share. So this is a great strategy to get in, but you could miss it because in the next two weeks, SoFi could go above 650. And if that happens, you're just going to let this expire and buy the shares outright because you really want to try to get in around 650 or 670, but nothing higher. You really want to get in now. And if we look at the Delta, this Delta is 50, but I don't see it being as a high probability as SoFi is going up. If I didn't really care about getting a sign and didn't care about losing the shares, which I, I do, but I don't, I could sell $7 calls going out to the middle of August with earnings being good, could get assigned, but don't really care. 31 contracts, I can make $1,000 in covered calls in the next six weeks. So that's pretty good. Six weeks, $1,000, plus I would make 50 cents per share, which means that's $1,500 plus this, 2,500 bucks in a little over a month and a half. Very good return on $20,000. It's a 10% return, which is why I recommend staying between five to 10% per month income when you're selling options. You got to look at the deltas. The $7 covered call is a 40 delta going out to August. It's highly likely, whereas $8 is 21 delta. So 21% versus 40%. With the $8 call, I'd make $3,000 plus another two, 300 on the covered calls. So it would be like a $3,300, $3,400 profit, which is very, very good. But like I said, you could pretty much do any of these strategies. If you're going to sell a put going out to August because you just want to collect premium and you absolutely positively do not care about the shares, just the profit, you can sell a cash secured put for $6 going out to August and collect $30 juicy premium, giving you a break even price of $5.70, which is a 31 delta. Very good for collecting juicy premium. This is a very good setup. It's highly unlikely you'd get assigned at this price going that far out. However, even if you did, $5.70 is your break even and the stock is a long-term investment. So you're either getting in and getting out the wheel strategy, selling puts just to collect premium, selling covered calls to collect premium. However, if you're looking to hold the shares long for a year or two or more, if you can get in cheaper, the better it is for you. If you guys like the strategies that I employ in this video and my other YouTube videos, and you guys are looking to become more profitable in the market and achieve financial freedom, I am here to help you guys. I just launched my masterclass bootcamp as well as my one-on-one -on -one coaching, full discord and training course. You guys can sign up at any time at investwithcorey.com right there on the screen or in the information box below. This is a very good stock and a very good buy under $7 in my opinion and under $6.50, it's an even better buy. I believe in SoFi or I would not have invested $20,000 into the stock. If you guys don't buy now, you should be buying very soon because if you don't, you're going to get left in the cold. Now is that time.
time to buy because when the stock moves, it's going to move quite a bit and you could be left out and miss out on all the profits. Anthony Noto, the CEO, knows something we don't know or most of us don't know, and that is the stock is a winner. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. Be sure to subscribe and tap the bell. This way you guys know when I post new content and give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel grow. This video might be over. However, I picked another one just for you, and that video is right here. You guys are going to love it. I'll see you guys over there. Click it. And remember, guys, until the next video, let's grow our wealth together and click the video. You guys are going to love it. I'll see you over there. Trust me, I'm already over there waiting for you. Right there.